our school director, Mr. Manuel S. Sator, faculty and staff, parents and guests, my fellow graduates, good day. Thank you to all of you who are watching this virtual celebration. And to everyone who made this virtual commencement exercise possible. It is a blessing and a great privilege to be able to have this ceremony, despite the present situation. Before the pandemic started, as we start our regular school days, we make sure that our gadgets are either turned off or simply be left at home. We would even try our best to avoid these that stand as a distraction to our academic performances. Never did I think that these very gadgets, our laptop, computer, and even our mobile phones would be something so essential for our academic lives today. Although it was difficult for us to adjust to the situation, the remote learning program the park schools are currently implementing helped us to easily adjust, learn, connect, and at the same time, still have fun when make the most of our virtual discussions and activities with our classmates and teachers. Remote learning is challenging and fun. It's fun because I can wake up late, unlike before. I used to wake up at around 4.30 a.m. to prepare for school with my sisters. But now we are able to save a lot of time because our school will just be across the room, which is great. Challenging because it's a major adjustment from physical presence from our classmates and teachers during classes. This made me realize that I miss going to school. The usual laughter we all have together and attending school activities with everyone. I still remember one of our school activities. Our quiz beat. Yes, it was my first quiz beat competition. During the first day of the competition, I was kind of scared, but with the guidance and encouragement from my mentor, I learned that I can do more. It boosted my confidence, I felt more relaxed, and was able to cope on the next rounds. It turns the fight into a fun and exciting memory. It's about facing difficulties with determination and courage. Same with our situations we are facing every day with courage especially during this pandemic. This is not how we expected our graduation or moving up ceremony to be. This momentous celebration is truly one of a kind and will always be remembered as a pioneering class of Northfield San Pablo that was virtually celebrated. This is the celebration of our accomplishments and growth which also marks the beginning of another phase of our academic lives. On behalf of the graduating class, we would like to show our appreciation to the following people. Thank you to the staff of Marshfield Sun Valley who always help and assist us students. And to our teachers and mentors who are not getting tired to guide and share their knowledge by making sure that we understand the lessons we teach that we can carry on to our next stage as a junior high school. To our school director and management, thank you for your continuous guidance and care for the school and to our students. You all make us proud to say that we are Mariners. And lastly, we would like to thank our parents. We thank you for always being there for us, for your life and guidance, we wouldn't be here without you. In return, we will work hard and try to do our best to make you proud. My fellow graduates, thank you for all the time we have in the class, the stories, games, and all the fun we had. Help that wherever we go, whichever path we decide to take, may we always keep in touch and never forget the precious memories we have made with one another.
Congratulations. Paref Northfield School confers two sets of awards for academic achievement. The Best in Subject Award and the General Academic Excellence Award. The Best in Subject Award is given to the student with the highest numerical grade for a particular subject. The General Academic Excellence Award is given to students who meet specific standards set by the Academic Council and apply to the student's general average. A gold medal is given to students who have consistently received first honors for the three terms of the school year. Likewise, a silver medal is given to students who have consistently received second honors or a combination of first and second honors for the three terms of the school year. Finally, a bronze medal is given to students who have consistently formed part of the director's list for the three terms of the school year. Here are the Grade 6 Sun Valley awardees, Joseph Benedict Defante Andres, Silver Medal for Academic Excellence, Best in Social Studies, Best in Religion, Kaisel Philippe Angelo Eming Espinosa, Silver Medal for Academic Excellence, Best in Physical Education, Daniel Kenji Lindo Fabic IV, Bronze Medal for Academic Excellence, Best in Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, Alexei Ryan Estanislao Lao, Silver Medal for Academic Excellence, Miguel Bulatao Lindenman, Silver Medal for Academic Excellence, Best in English. Sailar Hilario Magallanes Pagawitan III, Silver Medal for Academic Excellence, Best in Music, Best in Art. Ian Luis Tanyala Paterno, Gold Medal for Academic Excellence, Best in Mathematics, Best in Science, Best in Filipino. Tio Nicolai Fider Sibulo, Silver Medal for Academic Excellence. Mr. Sator, with pride and honor, I present to you these eight student candidates for moving up for school year 2019-2020. By virtue of the power vested upon me by the Department of Education, I now declare these eight gentlemen incoming junior high school students for school year 2020-2021. They have successfully completed all the requirements needed for the six-year basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the junior high school students of Paraf Northfield School for school year 2020. 2021. Joseph Benedict Defante Andres, Kaisel Philippe Angelo Eming Espinosa, Daniel Kenji Lindo Fabic IV, Alexei Ryan Estanislao Lau, Miguel Bulatao Lindenman, Sailar Hilario Magallanes Pagawitan III. Ian Luis Tanyala Paterno Tio Nicolai Fider Sibulo Hello all! I'm the father of Ian and I am here to congratulate all the grade 6 students you know, that uh, under moving up ceremony it has been a great honor to be here with you guys, and thank you. Uh, congratulations again. You are the first batch of the Northfield Sun Valley group to move up, no? And this will be your first step from, from a boy to becoming a man. And with that, you'll also have new responsibilities as you grow older. 
from being a student, you know, a brother, a son, and a friend. And always remember, we are here to guide you, uh, us, our parents, and the faculty especially, to, on every step of your way. No, and personally, me and Kian is very thankful. No, we're one of the new students and parents that joined. And we have made great friends. My son has made great friends. Even me, no? uh, with our, the, our fellow, fellow teachers and uh, parents, no? we all had a great time. No? Uh, and, and even with this pandemic, I could see that uh, the bonds of our classmates and us are still strong. Again, thank you very much and congratulations to you all. Greetings and congratulations to everyone. Now that we have come to the end of our virtual commencement ceremonies, I wanted to take this opportunity first to greet everyone who is here and viewing this live stream, to greet especially our honorees whom we have not seen for some time, as well as family members, teachers, and those who have contributed in some way to the success of this pioneering class. Second, on behalf of the school and the management staff, I wanted to apologize to the members of the graduating class for the interminable delays in organizing this tribute to your memorable years in Northfield. I offer no excuses, save perhaps that we found ourselves at the beginning of this pandemic with some uncertainty in terms of how to organize this commencement in the best possible way. And we foolishly continued to hold out, perhaps for too long, for an opportunity to actually pay tribute to all of you in person. Unfortunately, it looks like that will not come to pass. In any case, we know that any virtual ceremony can be no substitute to actually being together. But like many things during this pandemic, we have had to be content with making do with a virtual equivalent. And as I'm sure you agree, this ceremony, no matter how smoothly organized it might be, will not do justice or will not capture the family spirit, the camaraderie, and the close bonds enjoyed by this pioneering class. And that is what we will miss most of all. As we end today's ceremonies, I wanted to speak to two things that I am sure are deeply felt by everyone. One is adversity, otherwise known as difficulty, hardship, especially what we are going through during this pandemic and how we have continued to deal with adversity and hardship. And second, friendship and particularly how because of our own physical isolation from one another these days, we have come to a deeper appreciation of the close relationships and the strong bonds that we nurtured during our years in Northfield. So first, adversity, dealing with difficulties. This has always been a constant lesson by your teachers, especially when they remind you of what the school's motto is, Fortuna Favit Fortibus, and how fortune favors those who are courageous enough to fight through adversity. Let me just say, however, that our trials of the past year, which we still continue to experience, are also a reminder that bravery, fortibus, or courage, doesn't mean a kind of reckless fearlessness or a disregard for risks or danger, but rather the willingness to endure hardship without giving up. And this hardship need not be the dramatic kind of slaying dragons, but it could very well be the heroism of every day, dealing with the difficulties that are magnified now because of remote learning. For example, the lack of reassurance or encouragement that we get in person when we were in physical classes. And yet we are asked to be courageous enough to go to school, to open our computers, to go to the Google Classroom on time, and to do our work, even though there is no one to supervise us there. 
one needs to recognize that we cannot overcome our difficulties alone. And part of understanding adversity means that, that we survive, that we transcend our difficulties, and that we flourish only with the help of others, that we were not meant to succeed alone, because that is how we were wired to be. And this brings me to my second point, which is friendship and the importance of friends as we journey forward into high school. Maybe you don't even need to look too far, but just on the last year and reflect on how your friends, especially those you continue to stay in touch with, made the difficulties of 2020 and 2021 somehow more bearable. There was a Greek philosopher who once said that the most important thing about education or about going to school isn't books or isn't the subjects that we learn, but friendship. That is the most important thing. And when we reflect on this for a little bit, we realize that this is true. I mean, what is a friend really, but a living book? What is a friend but a treasure of experiences and a model for our own habits? And what is a friend but someone who looks out for your own well-being and helps you to overcome your own limitations in order to help you become a better person? That is what a good friend, a real friend is. Our friends provide us with greater wisdom and moral experience than any academic subject we will ever take. Of course, don't just think of friends simply as being limited to your classmates. We need to widen our definition of friendship. And by friends here, we mean people who are genuinely concerned for our welfare. And that definition has to include teachers, mentors, family members, of course, our parents, most of all. Let's not forget that it would not have been possible for us to have gone through these years in school without our friends. And of course, ultimately, we benefit from our friendship with God and the spiritual grace that we receive from him when we are friends with him in order to overcome our own inner difficulties. So as you move forward into high school, do not forget to thank and cherish your friends, classmates, teachers, parents, and of course, God, because they, these are the ones on whose shoulders you stand, we stand. And finally, let me close with a big thank you to all of our parents and family members, but most of all, to you, our graduates, the members of this graduating class, whose generosity and individual effort have made the school what it is today, and in a special way, because you were the pioneers of Sun Valley. Whether you realize it or not, the ordinary heroism, and very often unnoticed, the heroism of your daily diligence in going to school or doing your schoolwork is what made the school better off than it was before. And of course, this particular class is very, very special because you are the very first students of Northfield in Sun Valley. And simply for being our pioneers, we owe all of you our never ending gratitude. Thank you for trusting us and for taking a chance. And even if some members of the class have already pursued their own plans beyond the school, we have truly benefited from your having spent your years in Antipolo with us. Thank you. Once again, congratulations to this class. Congratulations to the awardees. Congratulations to all of our proud parents. We wish you all the best. Fortuna favet fortibus. Stay well.